Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to take you through the steps needed for submitting your app to the Apple App Store. So once you've done creating your masterpiece of an app, you've tested it out and everything's ready to go, the next thing you need to do is log in to your iTunes Connect account. And if you don't have one of them, you can basically go into your developer developer portal and uh, you should be somewhere in there where you can do that, but you know that's neither here nor there. So log into your iTunes Connect account. You should come to a page that looks similar to this. Um, what you're going to want to do from there is click on Manage Your Applications, the link over at the right. You should come to a page where it shows you your uh, previous apps that you've created. If you don't have any, which you probably don't if you're watching this video. And then you're going to want to, it should be just be empty in here. And so what you're going to want to do is click on add a new app, the top left there, right over here. Um, when you do that, you'll come to a page that looks like this. But before you go ahead and fill any of these um, fields out, you're going to want to uh, create a bundle ID. Now, uh, maybe you already have. And if you have, that's great. You can probably skip ahead a little bit because the next uh, minute or so I'm going to talk about how you create a bundle ID. Uh, to do so, you're going to need to click on that little link underneath the bundle ID field that says you can register a new bundle ID here. When you click on that, that will actually take you to your Apple developer um, portal, specifically the iOS provisioning portal. And right here is where you can create a new app ID. So you're going to want to just click on that button at the top right. And that should take you to a page that looks like this. So you're going to want to fill in description, which um, could be anything. Just make sure it's something so that you'll remember which app you're talking about. So short description for the name of your app. You can just use the name of the app if you'd like. Um, and then the second thing you need to fill out is your bundle identifier. And what that needs is, is so to get this, you should just open up your Xcode project. And once you're in Xcode, you know, click on the title over here of your app, and then click on the target. And then over here under the summary tab, you have your bundle identifier. Just copy this identical to what you see right there, whatever's there for you. It's going to be different, obviously. And that's what you're going to put in this field here, the bundle identifier. And like I said, for the description, put whatever um, you'd like. Then you're going to click Submit. That'll take you, um, that should create your new app ID. So next you're going to, going to want to click on Provisioning, little uh, link over at the left and then click on distribution because this is going to be distributing you may have already made one for developing um, if you didn't that's okay but um, uh, it's the same it's a very similar process so you're going to click on distribution and once you're in here you're going to click on new profile and in here you just simply have a check for app store give it a profile name Again, that could be anything. And then you should be able to click and select the app ID that you just created a second ago. Um, so you should see it in the drop down box, the app ID that you just created. Select that, hit submit. And when you come to the next page, you should see something that says pending for that new profile that you created. Um, all you have to do is hit re your browser, hit refresh and then it should say active. Uh, once it says active, click on this download button and you should it should download a file that is basically your app's name with the extension dot mobile provision. <clears throat> so that's a you're going to need that file in a second. Uh, what you want to do is go to Xcode again, your project, click on the little organizer icon at the top right over here and that's going to bring up um, the organizer which is this uh, little application that's a part of Xcode. In there you're going to make sure you click on the devices tab at the top 
and have provisioning profiles clicked on at the left. And you may have a bunch of profiles already in there. You may have none. Um, regardless, you're, the provisioning profile that you just downloaded, wherever you save that, um, I usually save it to my desktop or in your downloads folder or whatever, drag and drop it right into this area, and then it should show up in here. <clears throat> you're going to need that for one of your last steps. So, But it's good to get that out of the way, put that in the organizer. All right, so next, now we're going to go back. That's all was creating your provisioning profile and your bundle ID. So you now have your bundle ID. So you can go ahead and back into iTunes Connect and fill out that app information. You know, English, probably your default language if you're watching this in the United States or wherever. Um, app name, whatever you want the app name to be. Fill that out here. Um, the SKU number, this could be anything. Just write it down and make sure it's something you remember. Uh, and then select the bundle ID that you uh, just created. Should be should appear there in the drop-down box. And once you've done that, you can click Continue. <clears throat> Next part, you're going to select the availability date and price tier. Uh, again, these are all up to you. Select your availability date. I usually go with whatever today is. And then price tier. Uh, you'll see when you do the drop down, you can select from free or other price tiers. I think tier one is 99 cents in the United States. Um, and then, you know, these other things that's up to you if you're going to do a discount for educational institutions or not. And then you just hit continue. And you're going to come to the next part, which uh, is your version number. If it's your first one you're putting up there, your first version, go with 1.0. Um, your copyright's going to be, you know, whatever the year is, and then the name of your company or your name if you're doing this as a person. Uh, what category your app's going to be under. These uh, two here are optional, so I'm not going to go over them. Uh, you're going to give your app a rating, you know, basically saying, uh, letting them know whether there's adult content in your app or not. Uh, next is the metadata, which basically is the description of your app. You should have that ready. I'll come up with a, a little paragraph about that. Some keywords that would be useful for your app. A support email address, a support URL, a website that you have perhaps supporting all your apps. Uh, the other two fields are optional for privacy and marketing. And then you're going to need your images. You're going to need one image as your large app icon. Uh, if you click on this little uh, question mark there, it lets you know what your options are for resolution. Uh, I think I've used for this one 1024 by 1024. Uh, but it, if you click on the question mark icon there, it lets you know you have options. You don't have to go with just that um, resolution. Same thing for your uh, screenshots for iPhone and iPod and iPad. Again, if you click on the little icon there. It'll let you know what your options are for screen resolution. Uh, hit continue and that'll, that completes it. You're, you're basically uh, prepared for uploading. But there is one more thing you need to do. So you get to this page here. It looks like you're all set. Uh, but you're not quite. You have to click on this little button up here that says ready to upload binary. This is kind of a pain in the neck. Uh, had me stuck for a little bit. I didn't know you had to do this. And it takes you to a page that looks like this. Uh, basically just ask you if you made any changes to encryption features. I've always just put no to both of these questions and hit continue. Now it should say waiting for review instead of pending review. Pen uh, so, so basically now you're ready to upload your app. Okay, And click on the name of your app. Click on the target and this time you're going to click on build settings and go down to you might have to scroll a little bit to get to code signing and under here you're going to want to select your distribution um, provision that you just created okay since you dropped that you know dragged and dropped that into the organizer it should now be available so make sure that's under your code signings you might have to do that here and right here just select your um, distribution code signing uh, and then you're ready for your next step. Go ahead and from your devices in the top left, select iOS device. 
and then go to the product tab at the top and select archive. This may take a minute, but then the organizer will pop up again and you'll have a archive. Um, it's kind of blocked. It's behind here. You'll have basically your archive is what you're going to upload to the App Store. So you can go ahead and click on validate over here and that'll pop up this screen here and you basically have to put in your iTunes connect username and password then hit next um, you'll choose the application in that you're going to upload and your code signing identity which basically should be the provision that you made earlier in this demonstration and then hit finish uh, hopefully you get to a screen that looks like this and said no issues were found then now you're ready to distribute so you click on the distribute button here in the organizer and click on submit to the iOS App Store again put in your user information for logging the iTunes connect hit next again select the code signing identity and hopefully you get no issues were found and everything is uploaded to the App Store. And basically at this point, you're just going to have to wait a week until you're, hopefully you are approved. All right, let me know um, if I missed anything. Hopefully that's helpful. Thanks.